The additional opportunity we have for the last 10 days is now for us to then say, okay, if I have gotten a blank check, a blank check for mock firm, a blank check for character reformation, a blank check for uh, skyrocketing my spiritual level with my creator, a blank check to re-establish my relationship with my creator, then what do I do with it? The question you should just ask yourself today is that if Otedola or Dan Kote walks in here and gave you his check and handed over a Bible to you and said, write something on it, what are you going to write? Said, I just want to, this is Ramadan, I just want to be generous. Write whatever you, write, you want on that check. What are you going to write? We all know what you are going to write. I'm very sure nobody's going to write 100,000 naira. Nobody is going to write a million. I'm, I'm damn sure of that. So the same thing now, Allah has handed you over a blank check. What are you writing for these last 10 days? What you should write are things that I want to say now. What you should write in your blank check is an opportunity that Allah, this closeness that I have gotten now, this relationship that I've established with you, I don't want to lose it. Because if you don't lose your relationship with Allah, then you have lost nothing. But if you lose your relationship with Allah, then you have lost everything. So the first thing we need to know is that why do we bother ourselves so much on things that are beyond us? Issues that are attached to Kada that we cannot do anything except Allah decide to, to change it for for us. So why don't we now use this opportunity to rewrite our kadar before our creator? Why don't we? Such that by the time we move out of Ramadan, the next three months, we'll still be feeling that feelings of Ramadan internally. If Allah has exhausted us so much spiritually, well, I assume the spiritual ambience is different from the normal ambience. And if Allah has given you that opportunity to establish yourself spiritually in Ramadan, Wallahi, you will be having this inner feeling as if Timbade Soronsi and Allah we are we aching to eat immediately. That self-confidence, that commitment, that I mean contentment within you will just be like 100 percent Because you feel different. You feel like a newborn. And that is why they said Ramadan is like something that we wash over all your sins and make you feel like a newborn. So this opportunity, the only, the only way through which we can finish and finish strong is for us to make sure that our relationship that we have created with Allah, we did not allow anything to break that chain of, chain of relationship. That chain of relationship. So let us wake up in the middle of the night and tell Allah, that I want to be part of those servants. And you know what Allah said concerning the blank check? Allah said, Ana I am on the affairs of my slave. If my slave want to meet me arithmetically, I will be prepared to meet him geometrically. Which means if you have that, I want to be close to God, but I want to do it step one, two, three, four. Allah said, for the fact that you have the mind you want to meet me, step one, two, three, four, I want to meet you geometrically. Before you take one step, I will take 10 steps. Because Allah is interested in us. He wants us. He wants us to come to him. And that's why I said, I'm interested. So he's looking for who is interested in meeting him. And he said, I will be interested in meeting you. And I will meet you at the point of your needs. So let us create this relationship that will make us to be self-sufficient spiritually. 